Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to capture your first Drone Deploy Ground data using the all new Drone Deploy Ground mobile app. Let's get started. The Drone Deploy Ground mobile app is available on the Apple App Store and allows you to capture ground data, whether it's photos, 360 panos, walks, or other media. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Drone Deploy Ground mobile app. If you already have existing projects within your Drone Deploy account, you'll see all of your project data within this list view here. I can see we have a variety of different projects and exterior data already available, allowing me to quickly find my project. If you're creating a project for the first time, you also have the ability to select the plus button and create a new project directly from the mobile app itself. But because we've already created a project, I'm going to search for the project directly. I can see within this project, I already have some exterior map data, as well as a few levels that we've preloaded into the project. If you're creating this project for the first time, note that you must create these levels on dronedeploy.com first and upload your floor plans before you can capture ground data to upload to those floor plans. Because I want to upload data to level one, I'm going to select our level one floor. Now, by default, I'm going to load up the floor plan and see my most recent data that was captured at this location. So for example, I can see a few walks have been captured, a few 360 panos, and some individual photos as well. But you always have the ability to go up and adjust the visibility filters to filter by your specific date, by a specific uh, creator, or a specific media type to view the data that you have on your screen. But for this example, we're capturing this data for the first time. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click Capture Media. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you have the ability to capture a variety of different data using the Drone Deploy Ground app. You do not only need a 360 camera. For example, you have the ability to take standard 2D photos and be able to position them on your floor plan and have them geolocated and available for your team to view within your Drone Deploy project. This is a really effective way if you're documenting individual issues or already have an existing process for capturing standard photos on your site, with the added benefit of having them centralized and located within your unified drone deploy project. You also have the ability to capture standard 360 panos as well as walks within drone deploy. In order to capture a pano or a walk, you do need to have a 360 camera. For this example, I've got an Insta360 RS 1 inch, which we recommend for most users starting out. I also recommend if you're capturing ground data for the first time to get a selfie stick, a hard hat mount, and at the very minimum a uh, halo light or a similar 360 light source to illuminate those dark areas that you might be capturing in. So I'm going to go in and connect my camera for the first time. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the camera and while the camera starts I'm going to select connect camera in the app. Now, if I've used this camera before, you'll be able to see it in your previously used item list like you see here. Or if you're connecting a new camera for the first time, you'd be able to just select connect to new camera. Great, so the camera's on, I've hit join, and we're gonna connect to the 360 camera. Now, once we've connected, I have the ability to take those standard 360 photos or the individual walk. Let's say I want to capture a walk around the main gym here for um, an inspection that I'm trying to conduct. What I'm going to do is first start and select a location that I want to conduct that 360 walk and hit the record button. What this will do is start a timer saying we are now going to start capturing your 360 walk. At this point, you can walk as usual around the area that you want to conduct. So let's say we want to conduct a walk around the gym itself. Since I'm at my office right now, I'm not going to be able to actually walk around this gym, but you'd be able to physically walk around this uh, gym in this example here. And again, if you've got uh, your 360 camera on a uh, selfie stick or on a helmet mount, it's going to ensure that you are not in each and every single photo. We also recommend walking with intention. And what that means is that walk with a purpose as you're walking around your site. That means if you want to capture high quality walks around specific MEP installation around specific types of assets, plan out your route in advance so that you can walk closely around those specific assets or those specific features so you have the highest quality 360 walk for you to inspect at a later date. Similarly, walk at a slow and steady pace so that you can reduce any motion blur that is introduced with your camera. This is doubly so if you plan to walk in areas where you might have 
uh, darker areas or poor lighting conditions, which is where your 360 light will come in handy. Let's say I've finished my walk and now I'm ready to, to stop the walk. What I'm going to do is just hit the stop recording button. And at this point, once the walk has stopped recording, I can select an end location for my walk. So let's say I want to select it at the starting point around the gym that I've just completed. I'm going to select that point and hit end recording. At this point, you'll see a little notification at the top saying I've got one item ready for sync. So when I disconnect from the camera and connect to Wi-Fi or use my phone's LTE, I'll be able to sync this walk automatically to your drone deploy project and be able to access this on dronedeploy.com or within the mobile app directly. And again, I can do the same exact thing with a 360 panorama using my 360 camera. We recommend capturing 360 walks along long corridors or large rooms and supplementing that with individual 360 stills in individual rooms that you might want to inspect. This way you're going to have the highest quality data in the areas where you have clear uh, images that you want to inspect, like in a small room, and you have uh, more automated data capture from that 360 walk or along long corridors or long spaces. That's all there is to it. At this point, I'm able to disconnect from the camera and have this automatically upload to my drone deploy project. In the next video, we'll take a look at what you can do once this data is uploaded and available. I'll see you there.